Huh. The roaming nibblers nearly killed off a young, uh, young, uh, devil sword there. Also, mining does generate aggro, I remember hearing. You know, just, uh, you may not, uh, uh, you may stand in place and not aggro an enemy, but mining might set them off instead. Um... Didn't really seem to work out that case there. Ooh. Ah, excellent. I have 56 monolite ore now? Yeah. Well, actually, I have uh, 59 now. Which is fantastic. For. It's just in here. Air power. Uh, a hundred seventh legion rep. 75 7th Legion rep, and 10 Proudmoor Admiralty. Um, eh, we'll go do this as well. Blade Guard Elite, Sandalari Empire. Wait, is it Sandalari? Since it's down like that, I guess Sandalari Empire is the Horde version? Huh. Event, kill the white shark first. Yeah, the uh, Zandalari Empire is the Horde tech. And I guess that's the Horde city. Very close to dying. Let's move over to Whoa. I just jumped over the rapids and nearly went over. Piss off. Piss off. Don't like what you're buying. What you're selling. I'm not buying it. Bit more uh, storm silver ore. Um, nearly at this world quest. I'm too low down for it. Um, oh, there's the two of these. I box both of them. I uh, finish a quest. Ooh, no. That's just to, um, that's just my marked target. But don't mind me, lads. Run, run, run. Ooh, also, 100,000 hit points with that, so... Getting on up. Need to go and, uh, clear space off my computer. Run, I'm running out and I'm just deleting random things that seem that have been uploaded and are edited, so even if they aren't, they can easily fix it. Power from in this area. You need to stop them. A Mogu? That's surprising. This st this stone's power will revive the Mogu Empire. 
Also, you're one of the few mogu that actually look like they're made of flesh. When I was looking at the mogu previously, they just constantly looked like they're made of fucking stone. Which, maybe they were, but it was always jarring to me. I was just thinking, like, uh, like okay, are these stone people or fleshy ones? Because I was, on some, one level or another, I was just like, okay, are these convincing stone statues or otherwise? I think it was just too tired, just perpetually shredded they all were. I'm looking forward to the old ear raid. The Mogu will find more stones. Yeah, the Mogu can get fucked. Um, okay, mount up. Our whistle. Okay, I'm just gonna go kill off this guy because he's like he's right by a um, flight point. I figure I should, and then I'm gonna call it quits because food is probably down. Um, so it could be on any moment. So yeah, when I come back tomorrow, we'll worry about running uh, heroics. Then um, we'll uh, we'll. We'll worry about uh, um, running heroic stand. I'll pick out the one to so I can start the Jaina quests. Given that I'll be running all over the place, running you know different dungeons, may as well be do doing that. You know while I'm doing you know multitasking, gearing up, and doing that. Considering that I'll be then able to run uh, Siege of Bar Bararis once I get enough progress there. Um, so, yeah. Also, I also do need to do islands, so I can get the extra azurite. Uh, I need to do plenty of shit. Let's see if I can't rub a few guildies into doing it. Jason. I'm just remembering, I, I remember seeing a, a bog in uh, Heavy Rain, where, uh, you'll see this video on YouTube, where a guy, um, there's a scene later on, and the father is, is uh, finds his son injured or whatever, and he's shouting, Jason! And the guy's just, there's a pop-up constantly popping up on screen, and you can just, uh, it's, I don't think this is intended in the slightest, because it looks like it's cutting off dialogue. And the guy's just getting throughout the whole scene, he's just shouting Jason. Later on, they're playing a different character. Like, it, it, it's in the same scene, but they shift controls to someone else. And she's running away, and just in the distance you hear Jason being shouted. It's hysterical. Uh, I'm not sure how much the game is bugged out there, or, you know, you know what it precisely was going on, but... I don't care, it was hysterical. Like, for all I know, it could have been something they had, you know, intentionally done, or they're, you know, faking it in some capacity. I have no clue, but it was a hysterical little video. If, uh, I don't remember what it was called or anything, but um, it's, it's it was hysterical. Our spies have identified a dangerous threat in this area. Seek it out, and neutralize it. Keep running, keep running, keep running. I want to find where the guy is, so... 
when I lose Murloc, I can come back for him. With all these hits, it's only a matter of time before I'm knocked off my mount. Okay. Whoa. Burly Murloc is burly. So far though, he doesn't seem as bad as the that other fire guy. Uh, the, well, not that other fire guy, but the fire guy from the other place. The other uh, leaf. I'm hoping the nesting nestingware stuff gives us some um, seventh legion rep, because uh, while well, that might make sense. 7th Legion Rep will be so nice. I'm also figuring we'll probably fight Siltids at some point. Oh, I was saying that last time, wasn't I? But S Siltids got a new model. We must get some Siltid combat going on. Maybe return to, you know, there. I was actually reading some earlier. They were saying that, you know, from what we learned in Wrath, that Yogg wasn't dead. That any of the old gods we fought aren't actually dead. And Seatun, sorry, not, that was how I used to pronounce it as a kid and keeps coming back every so often. Katoon isn't actually dead either. There is a vision you get in one thing in, wow, in Legion that predicts the whole stabbing of Siltis and all that, and you hear of one of Seatun's lines. Well this is Katoon's lines. These lands are safer for your you, you hear one of his lines. No. Uh, you hear one of his lines during the scene, which implies that he's back. So... Yeah. Wonder if we're gonna have, you know, uh, greatest old gods hit, you know, greatest hit to the old gods raid, where we have to fight all three of them. And they're burlier now and whatnot. So, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this, folks, and I sincerely hope you join me again next time. If there's anything you like to ask me, please let me know in the comment section below. Oh, actually, wait. Before I go and do anything, there's something I must do. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Some stage you'll get back to fishing. Ooh, I just got a nice chunk. Seven silver or seven platinum. Nice. Some of this stuff is actually really nice. I think did I get just get ten storm silver and two platinum off a single thing? Nine storm silver, four platinum? Christ. Some of the stuff here is very generous. And there's some coarse leather. Which I'm not seeing being too uh relevant for me, but still. Ahoy. Uh, Blacksmith. 25. 49. 35. 21. Go break these down. It's not even a 10 point upgrade. It's sounding like some like, yeah, like the music there was like, I like, you know some like dog race music or something, you know. It just reminded me of something, and I can't put my finger on it. Not dog racing, but just some like racing music that's very like, I know I'm not sure if it's royalty free, but it just always strikes me as cheap or something, and just 
really reminded me of it there. I mean, not cheap, but it's maybe it was like from some old cartoon or something. I have no buddy a clue. So. Well, I've got some little chunks of monolith. Some durable flux. But don't you sell that? Yeah, you do. So it's not too useful. Take the wind in your sides. So I'm still one off getting the new stuff. Two monoid or such a dis, it's uh, such a downgrade, such a downgrade. No wonder the ore is going for so much. Though. Shall we talk business? I think about it. If I need fourteen ore to make a singular tank, and I need to make it many a time to actually make an, uh, make to make an else, I'm going to need so much ore. So it's no surprise that I need uh, like the ore is going for so much. I need to go find out what quests I need to do to upgrade the tank. Charge lodestone. Nice. Inflicts nature damage to the attacker on melee damage received. Wind's howling today. Nice. Steer clear of dark uh, I'm gonna actually look this up before I go, because it's bugging me. A need for cool. I'm not sure if this is a quest or gonna be like a world quest. No, not a need for control or a common European. Wish I had mining in the first place, so I would be able to do these as I leveled, presuming that they're in the same zones. Okay, comments. You actually get this from her. Yeah, you need to get to 50 mining to be able to get it. Someone actually here has a list done out. Um, um, you, at a 50, you get the first monolite or one. And at 150, you get the second. And they're both from her. Then at 50, also at 50, you get don't pick a fight for the monolite seam. Is that still a separate thing? Okay, for some reason I thought they were, com you know, stuck together. Uh, seams and deposits were just yunked together in um, Battle for Azeroth. They aren't. So at 50 and 150, the seams, um, you get a seam quest. But the second seam quest is actually gotten from an item, which is a no drop. Then, at sim actually, it's. Then also for the Storm Silver, it's at 50 as well. And 150 as well. Then there was three ones for uh, Storm Silver Seams at 150. Though it's probably part of a quest chain. Then at 150, there's also. There's a quest in Drosfar. But there is two quests given by Mining Platinum Ore. Actually, sorry, one from my. Yeah, two, sorry, two from Mining Platinum Ore. And this was all done out by V A R E N N E over on uh, Wowhead. So if you want to see it done out, just look up uh, the. A need for coal quest on Wowhead, and it's down in the comments. It's quite a handy little list they've done out. Um, so I'll be going by that. So, 
Anyway. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this set, and I sincerely hope you join join me again soon. If there's anything you'd like to ask me, please let me know in the comment section below. And I do hope you join me again. Um till then, love and peace, baby.